right in the center. Now the only one we have left is this one that's in the lower corner and it's a small screwdriver blade that's between the two blocks which you can see very plainly at the bottom there. Now I'm going to hit what's called a graduated shade. Graduated shade, what that does, it's over here on the right. See my mouse moving? It's over here on the right. When you hit that, it averages out everything on the plot. Everything. From block to block. So you can plainly see the cross piece of wire I had there. You can see the circle I had here. You can see how this screwdriver part is here and you can see that center piece right in the center of the um, crosshairs and if I move the camera to the place here where you can see the whole um, piece let me raise it up some here you see what I'm talking about there's the the blade that one circle, we got the crosses here, the um, piece going across, and the one piece right in the center, which corresponds exactly to this plot I just downloaded of this grid. Now, police can use this for very fine detailed work like I just did. These are very small targets. Um, everything is related to the coil size. For example, if I'm looking for a coil engine, I wouldn't use a 3-inch coil. I'd use a 2-box uh, or a pulse induction. Um, this is an example of a, a grid. If I was actually out in the field, I'd have stakes at each corner with, what, with a rope marked at every 3 foot. So I know exactly where I am on my grid. If I'm using the mini, which you have to track with a, a rope, or if I'm using the or geologger or the pro, it makes no difference. At each point, I would sample, make sure I was in step, and sample. This is an example of, of um, what you can do with this equipment. You can save all of your plots. You can hunt a site for as long as you want. If, I, if this was an actual site, I would be digging this one first because it's the largest. These are smaller, but I can also see that this one is more long than it is round, like these two. You get a lot of information out of this. Targets have been dug down to 13 plus feet. Um, known targets have been detected down past 16 feet, which includes um, pipes and, and, and different things like that at known depths. I used for this I used a Garrett Sea Hunter with a small 3 inch coil designed for this um, test plot for demonstrations at treasure shows. This equipment's not just related to treasure hunting. If someone wanted to use a system like this, they can test for rebar and cement simply by putting a, a ruler out. And with the right size coil, depending on the distance between the rebar, you can move it and actually set your grid up in inches. You get very precise. You can use this in law enforcement, crime scenes. Um, I have plumbers using this equipment. It just depends on what you want to do with it. It's not just uh, made for metal detectors. You can hook up anything that has an audio output on this. Um, you can put a, a mag behind a boat, tow it, and log the um, straight line. As long as you know where you are by tracking GPS, or if you use the Pro, it'll have a GPS built in. I mean, it's up to your imagination what you can use the uh, logger series 